All right, got a package from Paper Palace. Um, shipped out January 13th, and it is now January 20th. Um, was well, a holiday, so in between there, so it's kind of threw off the whole shipping timeline, you know. Sharpen that knife. You're gonna go with scissors. All right. We got one. Two bundles of juices. Go with this one first. Okay, I'm just gonna push it out. All right, so we got Vapor Palace, Blue Honey, and a split. Black Honey Tobacco. Get that one. Espresso. And Boston Cream Pie. Now, first off, Chopper Blitz. Handmade in USA. You got your nicotine level. A five, but it's a six. Six milligrams and 50 50 PG VG. That's nice. Well, that was weird. Like the safety ring, like deformed. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these open and we'll get back. All right. Let's start with espresso. Nice espresso y smell to it. Really nice espresso smell. I don't know, my contacts are messed up in this. Got a little espresso flavor to it. Not, <coughs> not a whole lot though. Um, kind of light, but I mean, it's not bad. It's very light flavoring. Right, try banana split. will push down, hopefully it'll stay down. That a really nice banana flavor or smell. Tastes like banana split. It's got a a banana flavor to it. 
and a little creamyish flavor. Oh, I'm totally ignoring these things. <laughs> um, well, let me go back to the espresso real quick. According to the website, espresso blended with other coffee and creamy flavors make espresso e juice one of the best coffee flavors we make. Um, I couldn't find banana split. Okay. I think that's why I didn't bother thinking about it. But yeah, it's got a nice little creamy banana flavor to it. And I said, I really wouldn't call it banana split for, per, per se, but it is a nice creamy kind of banana. Kind of like a banana ice cream without the cold, you know? Not bad. Alright. Boston cream pie. There you are. <laughs> it says it's so delicious you'll cream your pants. It does have a nice smell to it. You gotta kind of like squish the bottle a little bit to get the smell out though. I wouldn't say I'm creaming my pants, but that's not bad at all. It's got a really nice creamy flavor to it. <coughs> I like that one. That's pretty good. Nice, nice cream flavor. Honey, very interesting sound to it. The blue honey e juice is here. This flavor has been talked about all over the forum, so we have perfected it here at Faber Palace. Never heard of blue honey, so let's check it out. Not really smelling anything. I mean, I'm smelling a, a little, little, little something. Hmm. Huh. I have no idea how to describe that. It's, it's good, but I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of fruity, but not kind of tobacco-y, but not, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Good flavor though. It's got a nice flavor. I, I, It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's it's hard to explain. It really is. I know this that, that this review that kind of sucks, but it's good. Um, so yeah, I checked that out definitely. Now, black honey tobacco. One of my favorite juices to get from the vape shop I go to is the black honey tobacco. So let's 
see how this one compares. Well, it smell much. It's a little sweeter than stuff I normally get, though. It's a little less a tobacco, more of a sweeter, but it's good. It's actually pretty good. Um, kind of reminds me of a cigar I used to smoke. That also was honey flavored. Pretty good. Like I said, it's, it's more honey, more sweeter than tobacco, but it still has got a little hint of tobacco in there. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coming off of a cold, so. So we'll go on ahead and um, stick these in the humidor and let them steep for a couple days and try them again. All right. So the juice has been sitting in the humidor for about five days, so we're going to run through and give them another taste. Um, forgot to mention earlier, um, a 10 millimeter bottle is $5.99, and a 30 millimeter bottle is $14.99. Ducatine strength, actually it's right here, you can go from 0 to 24. PG VG could be 100% PG, 70 PG, 30 VG, 50 50, 30 PG, 70 VG, or 95% VG. Okay, and they do have um, extra flavor shots. So, that being said, we're going to start with Boston Cream Pie. Now, if you're wondering why I do it this way, because sometimes the flavor can change um, while it's steeping. So, my battery's dead, so I'm got it plugged in. still a creamy flavor um I think it's got a little smoother I'm tasting a little bit a little sweeter except for that as a dry hit I think it got a little sweeter in its, its time in there, which is a nice little, probably help if I put the lid back on it, which is a nice little addition to it, um, espresso. An okay coffee flavor, not very strong. A little, a nice little hint of chocolate in there. But again, it's not a very strong flavor. Let's grab you, you 
blue honey. Let's see how you did. Mm -hmm. It definitely got a little sweeter too. Um, still, I really can't identify. It's 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 sweet. It's fruity. It's flowery, 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 or floral. Um, this is pretty good. I mean, it's it it's hard to describe though. <laughs> That's a dry hit. That's not hard to describe at all. Oh, yeah. Man, when them dry hits hit, man. Banana split. A nice, more a little bit of banana flavor to it. A yeah, banana creamy flavor. It's a lot. It's a lot better than the first initial tasting. It tastes just a little bit. black honey tobacco as you can see I've um, used a little bit of this still got a good amount of, of sweet with a tobacco flavor, um, really good. Uh, like I said earlier, um, actually this this tank has the black honey I normally get, and it's got a little bit more of a of a bite to it than this stuff has. So it's a nice, nice mix. Except for that one. It's kind of funny because I'm using my pan. I got it at 30 watts, which is putting out a little bit more power than my Mac Mod does. So, so there you go, um, Vapor Palace. Um, Vaporpalace.com Go check them out